Hi everybody, it's Russell Cornwell here with Silver Lake Songsters, silverlakesongsters.com. Today I'm going to teach you about the uh, D major triad and its inversion dance. It's just a good practice technique to learn how to play uh, the 1-4-5 chords for uh, any particular key, and in this case we're talking about D major, so let's get started. Focus on your left hand. Uh, you've done these a bunch of times, so I'm going to go a little faster through this one than I have through the others. Uh, if you want a little bit closer instruction, you can go check out Inversions Part 1 for the C, the G, or the F. For D, uh, we're going to start with our left hand, our pinky's on D, our middle finger is on F sharp, and our thumb is on A. Okay, so that makes a D major chord. We'll call it a D chord. For the next chord you need to know, we're going to move our uh, pinky finger down a half step to the C sharp, okay? It's the black key. And then we're going to play with our ring finger, the E. And with our thumb uh, for our left hand, we're going to keep that on the A. And so what happens that thumb that is, uh, that's the chord we just played. It's an inverted A major chord. So our first two chords, and then we come back up to the D again. Now we're going to learn how to play an inverted G chord. That's the four. It's the four because we, if one is D in the key of D, then one, two, three, four, that's your uh, G. Uh, that was the beginning of uh, Stand By Me, wasn't it? Anyway. Uh, okay, so we're going to play the G chord with the pinky on the D, the pointer finger up here on the G, and the thumb on the B. Here it is all together. This is a G chord, inverted. Okay, all right, sounds this pretty much the same as a G chord starting on G, but it's just inverted down, so we move this D up here, down here, make things a little easier on ourselves. Uh, so we can get to it from a from a D chord. Here is our inversion dance, right? We play the whole thing twice. Now the right hand, uh, you play, you know, thumb on the D, middle finger on the F sharp, and your pinky on the A. And when you come down, you can just move your thumb down to the C sharp and then play with your pointer finger on the E and your pinky on the A. There's your, your five or your A inverted chord. And then you come back up. And then you go up. To go up, I like to move my middle finger up to the G here and move my pinky up to the B above. All right, and that's that inverted G chord. So all together. hands okay when you practice this uh, you're gonna want to give it two to three minutes start out slower than you think you need to go and uh, increase speed uh, by about two or three minutes you'll start to make mistakes and that's how you know you're done with uh, practicing this uh, inversion dance for the day focus on the left hand rather than uh, focusing as much on the right hand because your left hand especially for improvisation it really needs to uh, know its chords uh, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I know I did, uh, got a little loopy, and that's always fun. So um, if you like, you can uh, go to silverlakesongsters.com, uh, schedule a lesson with me there by hitting the book now button. Uh, we can do it on Skype. This is my studio, welcome. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, we can also do lessons in person in the Los Angeles area uh, if uh, we're kind of semi-proximate to each other, you know, LA traffic. Awesome. So thanks guys so much, and uh, shine on Silver Songsters. I will see you soon.